Uh, February 1st, two days until the deadline. Our, de our, our deal's gonna be going to be up soon as well. What will you do after that? Yeah. I'm not obligated to tell you. That's not part of our deal. Never mind the future. Just focus on de defeating Maruki for now. If we lose a fate more humiliating than death, we'll be waiting for more humiliating. I mean, that matters more to one. Hello, it's me. I'm calling you to remind you that you still have a pr Oh, pfft, shit. This song almost makes me sad. Oh, there was a thing for the Velvet Room. I'm silly. Sorry, EY. I was, um... <laughs> He's popping in. Really? Bye. Welcome to Welcome the Velvet to Room. The velvet. Releasing your pr it seems to have gained a fair amount of power. Bring her out. No fear prevents infliction of fear. I don't know if I need that. I just wanted her to be both. Yeah, I'm good. I think I made myself feel sick. I inhaled too many chemicals again. Aw, you inhaled chemicals. Again, once my nail toes dry down, I'll finally be done. I'm mean, gonna have to clean up, and then I can probably sit down. I have, I still haven't done your dailies. What do you want so, while you recuperate okay. uh, after after you fought, I'll probably be I'll probably spring Genshin for your recovery <laughs> for my emotional <laughs> recovery. Yeah, the smile is what looks like Luigi. Are you good, bro? Hey! Stop ignoring me! Hey! What's going this on? This is literally Mako whenever I'm trying to play with you guys. Or do literally anything. You know, it's so much better that I've been doing this, the Persona 5 royal music instead. Because I used to do the Promise Neverland lullaby. Uh, do you know anything about that show? It's sad. It's already February! We've only got three days until- uh, We only got three days till the deadline. Oh crap, what do we do? Called it. <laughs> Calm down, I understand it's a tense situation. If something were to happen, it'd be tomorrow, correct? He hasn't sprung any surprises on you, has he, Kageki? Not really. I suppose all we can do is wait. He really likes keeping us in suspense, huh? <laughs> Whatever Dr. Maroki decides, I don't think we're getting out of this without a fight. Me shuffling my magic cards while reading this. We need to be prepared for anything. <laughs> You're right. We already beat up a god, right? We could take him. Yep. Yeah. Alex made me magic deck just for me. And it's nice and I beat him with it so many times and it's amazing. And he I I told him that I liked the vampire cards and I missed having a vampire deck instead of a zombie deck. Cause I was borrowing his deck whenever he taught me how to play. And then whenever we went and we bought a deck that was like pre-built, the only black deck that they had was a zombie deck and I didn't like it because I get anxious about making decisions about sacrificing cards and stuff and so I was like, I don't know what to do. And so he made this and it's super, super, super powerful. It makes me happy. I know. I'm gonna save real quick. Because I feel like shit's gonna kick off as soon as it changes over the day. Yo, I'm- I have my shirt off! Huh? Oh. Nice. He got his shirt off, what's up? My max HP and SP are probably like... Absolutely cracked now. I just have a lot on my mind. It's okay, it's nothing. We should get to school now. Alright. Whatever, girl. I am so glad you don't like girls. <laughs> okay. If he's coming, it'll be- Yo, yo. He's coming? I knew that was coming. Yo, you knew that was coming? I don't I'm like so you, nervous. this is I why I'm- This is- this is exactly why it's a good thing that- that you don't like girls. I thought this said all that's left is the f is the right. We'll handle it like we'll always. We'll take care of them. You know it. 
We've been so blessed with your cool composure. Kageki, you're the one Maroki is most likely to approach. If that happens, make sure you handle it just as we planned. This is Kageki here. We ain't got nothing to worry about. I know it's a lot to bear, but can we ask you to make the call for us to... <laughs> if he does show his face? What? Leave it to me. Let us know right away if anything goes amiss, okay? Yeah. What's his next move gonna be? Even I'm starting to get a little antsy here. Uh, Senpai? Dr. Maraki's supposed to contact us today, right? Before that happens, there's something I want to tell you. Do you have any time to y today? Head over immediately. So we can relax and chat. Sorry for all the trouble. Hope to hear from you soon. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it, girl! Are you gonna get a third form for your persona as well? Oh, it's cute in here. Uh, um... This is the first time I've invited a boy over to my house. It's nice and tidy. Thank you. People always say a messy room means a messy heart, um, so... <laughs> Don't say that. I asked you here today because I wanted to tell you my decision. This is where Kasumi and I promised each other we'd be the best in the world. Pretty much everything in here is the same as in Kasumi's bedroom. The colors are different, but not much else. That's how it always was. Kasumi kept saying we should get the same styles, the same clothes. You were close, after all. Yes. Yes, so when I lost her, I just went to shock. I can t talk about it now that I have some distance from it, but before I was too... Honestly, in the grand scheme of things, I'm grateful to Dr. Maruki. Well, he showed me it was possible to live my life the way Kasumi had lived hers. I ran away from who I really was, sure, but if I'd kept living as Sumire, I probably have never talked to you. I'd still be crying every day. Becoming Kasumi helped me come into your life. And because everything happened the way it did, I found ways to go back to being Sumire one step at a time. I think I really needed that time I spent as my sister. That's why I'm grateful to Dr. Maruki. What? That's why I have something to tell him, too. Or rather, I want to show him that I found a face to wait, the way to face reality. If Dr. Maruki sees how far I've come, I'd like to think it might give him the strength to do the same. I'll be there to help you. Yes. Yes, I'll be the strongest Sumeri Yoshizawa I can be. Well, we never got to fight with her new girl. <laughs> That's okay, because parents don't feel are gonna be based. Oh? Oh my god! This is... Alright. Into Ella! I... <gasps> like, the of the enchanted variety! It's Cinderella! <gasps> Thank you so much, Kikiki Senpai. If I hadn't met you, I'd never have found the strength to face myself. I hope we will always be able That's to count cool. on each other. That way, I won't ever lose myself again. Yes. Wherever you go, I'll follow. Thank you for bringing me here. It's gotten so late. Thank you so much for coming over. Veil of Sunrise Masquerade. I'm not even going to bother trying to clean up my nails again. I'm so scared, I'm not going to do it. But my pinky is extremely sore. I do think I accidentally kind of, um, sliced hey, off Sojiro. my cuticle. You're back. You're back. No, it's a bit early, but I think I'm going to close up shop for the day. We were so busy today, I ran out of all my ingredients. I don't even remember the last time that happened. Weird, right? Sure Anyways, up. don't forget to lock up. Sojo, there's like a pot still going on the stove. Tomorrow's finally the day. We've already secured the route to the treasure. No problems there. All we have to do now is wait. Sweet, we're gonna rock this shit! Yes! Oh, Kageki, I wanted to ask you something. Has Dr. Maruki contacted you yet? Nope. I suppose waiting really is our only option. You're right. If anything comes up on my end, though, I'll get in touch with you all. See you tomorrow. Yeah. My apologies for calling so late. Hey. Pink K. Pink K. I'm actually rather close by. Would you mind lending me an ear? Why does he sound like a little horny about it? 